So Ruth, this exercise is breathing in for four seconds and out for six seconds. It's a wonderful exercise to do, but it can be very challenging for people when their breathing is labored. So I would say to you at home is that if you can do this, great. And if not, depending on how fast and how hard and whether you're breathing upper chest or not, you might find this a little bit too challenging to do. If it's too challenging to do, don't do it. Start off with the easier exercises because what we can gently do is over time, you can gently improve your breathing patterns to the point that you will be able to breathe in for four seconds and out for six seconds. The risk is that if you try this exercise and if it's too uncomfortable for you or if you mistakenly take full big breaths, that it could increase hyperventilation. In other words, that the volume of air that you are taking into your lungs might be too much and that actually might set you back a little bit. So bear in mind, what's your control pause? And also, how are you getting on with breathing in for two seconds and out for three? Was that very easy? Well, if so, then you could move on to breathing in for three seconds and out for five seconds. And if you find that quite easy, well then you should have no problem breathing in for four seconds and out for six seconds. So what's the benefit in terms of slowing down the respiratory rate to six breaths per minute? It optimizes alveolar ventilation. So it's really helpful in terms of a gas exchange taking place that oxygen can transfer more readily from the lungs into the blood. The other aspect is that it can help to increase vagal tone. And this is about bringing the body into balance in terms of the automatic functioning of the body, the functioning of the body that we don't have to think about. So it was found out about 30 years ago with heart rate variability biofeedback that when we slow down the breathing rate to between 4.5 and 6.5 breaths per minute, with six being a good average, that it helps with recovery. Now, it's not that you need to breathe like this all day long. This is a practice that you can be doing for 10 minutes maybe in the morning and 10 minutes later in the day, and that would be tremendous. So with Root, this time I am actually going to time it just to, uh, to stick with the seconds. I'm gonna have you breathe in for four seconds and out for six seconds. You can do it with your hands on your lap and we're just gonna start in, in the cycle of the breath. So there's your breath in there and now have your slow exhalation and now to breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, a little lower, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, lower, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. We can take a rest. This is looking pretty good. I'd like to get a little bit lower in terms of that when you're breathing in that your ribs are moving out. And sometimes it can help with your hands there. Mm. Now, the other thing is, sometimes it can be tricky in terms of how much volume should I breathe in for four seconds. Now, you're doing pretty good because I know that you're not hyperventilating, that you're not increasing the tidal volume disproportionately. Then the other side to that is to ask, if we breathe in too little, could it create too much of an air hunger that's mm. uncomfortable? So it's okay. always that balance. So we're always thinking about breathing nose slow, low, four seconds in, six seconds out, but feeling comfortable. So we'll try it again. Okay. So you have your hands either side of your lower ribs and just you're sitting gently back into the chair. And as you're breathing in, you're breathing in for four. So that's nice in terms of the lower recruitment and breathing out gently for six. And then you're conscious about, well, how much air do I breathe 
to breathe in comfortably for four seconds, that I'm able to sustain a slow breath out for six seconds. And this takes a bit of practice. And with your lips together, as you breathe in, you're breathing in for four seconds and gently breathing out, really slow, nice, gentle breath out for six seconds. And I will do a four seconds in to breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, it's great. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. So just continue with that. But as you're breathing in, that your ribs are gently moving out. And as you're breathing, that's it. As you're breathing out, your ribs are gently moving in. So as you're breathing in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Take a rest. <laughs>